Speech and noise testing is pretty much exactly what it says on the tin. So it gives us the ability to actually assess the client in a more realistic environment where we're not just testing their hearing for whistles and beeps like we do on the pure tone audiogram, but also looking at how well they can process speech in more complex environments. So when there's noises or other people talking in the background. So don't get me wrong, the Pure Tone Audiogram is an incredibly powerful test, probably one of the most powerful medical tests there are. It's very highly diagnostic and gives us a huge amount of insight to what's happening in the ear and what that person is experiencing in terms of hearing loss. But it really doesn't give us much insight into when we do have sound traveling through the ear into the brain. With the damage that we've detected, how much distortion is happening? Is that person's brain perceiving a version of the sign that's coming into the ear but just softer? Or are they actually perceiving a sign that's not only softer but incredibly distorted? Also, it's not just about the damage to the ear, but at the end of the day, it's actually the brain that's doing most of that processing. So the brain is picking out the speech we want to hear over the speech and the noise that we don't. And that can vary from person to person. What is so interesting is when you do an audiogram, you cannot predict how well someone will hear in noise. It gives us no insight into that. It can give us an idea. We could probably have a good guess statistically, but you can be surprised almost every day that some people with mild hearing losses when we put them through the speech and noise test actually show up as really struggling. And then others who, and I saw one only this week, who have a severe to profound loss, but with enough amplification, actually cope really well in background noise. So that speech and noise test, without it, we're really feeling around in the dark in terms of what we can expect from hearing aids for this person. So as an audiologist, how do I counsel them and explain to them what a hearing aid could actually do for them? Can I tell them, some lucky people I can, that with a basic model, they will walk out of my clinic and hear as well as someone with normal hearing because all they need is a little bit of amplification that's prescribed to their hearing loss and a little bit of support in background noise. And we do see those people. Then there are others where we can tell that hearing aids are not going to be enough. So even the top range, best hearing aids in the world, unfortunately with their speech processing and the distortion that's happening in their ear, or the way their brain is working, that it's not going to be enough. And we can counsel them on that. And then we can also look at what else we can do because there are other accessories and things we can add to hearing aids to help them with that. And then finally, I think, and Crystal feels very passionately about this, and I think we all do, when you're recommending a hearing aid or prescribing a hearing aid, we have so much choice, so many different levels of technology see them all as something that will help someone hear but also is trying to support them in noise and some people based on that speech and noise test we can tell need more support than others it has little to do with their gender their age and their lifestyle we do consider that we have to but it really has more to do with how well they hear in noise with amplification and so based on that result we're able to say look Evidence, evidence-based practice would suggest that with this level of hearing loss and noise, we need to prescribe this technology and we can guarantee that they're going to hear something close to normal hearing with that or not. So it means we're not over-prescribing. We're not telling them to get hearing aids that are $6,000 worth when in fact they would have been fine with a $2,000 pair. We're actually able to explain to them why what we're recommending is going to work best for them.